Habitat News is just a day away from raising the walls of the home we're building in partnership with Habitat for Humanity and generous community sponsors. 10 News anchor Brittany McGraw introduces us to the family who will move into that home and learn why they reached out to Habitat to find a home for good. <laughs> 25-year-old Tiana Hayes is Roanoke born and raised. I love Roanoke. <laughs> That's my heart. But a quick glance around where she lives proves her world revolves around her two children. They make me push and just strive to be better, you know, to provide more for them. That push to provide more for 7-year-old Tremaya and 6-year-old Tremaine. Come back! Forced Tiana to reevaluate unsafe conditions inside places they'd been renting. Not only did I want to become a homeowner, I also wanted to get my kids out of it. She was overjoyed when she found out Habitat for Humanity in the Roanoke Valley approved her for a new house. <laughs> I just wanted to scream, just scream, scream, scream. The Home 10 News is building in partnership with Habitat, volunteers, and a lot of generous community sponsors. Tiana is, is going to be one of our rock stars in this. She's going to she's going to blossom and flourish with her with her two children. Habitat looks at three things before it approves families for its homes, need, ability to pay and willingness to partner. Ready to go? Tiana says she is go. more than ready. That is not they're just going to give you a free home. You know, it's I'm going to work for this. These are things that these are the things that I have to do to prepare myself for this so that her family can transform this house into their home. <laughs> In Roanoke, Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you. Our Home for Good wall raising ceremony happens tomorrow morning at 9.